Hi everyone, today again we are here with another example of group and this is called the groups of functions means what uh, there is a set r without zero means zero function is not here then we have defined these following functions f1 x as x f2 x as minus x f3 x as 1 by x and f4 x as minus 1 by x and we have taken all these four f1 f2 f3 f4 as a collection as a set here okay and we have named it as z so z is what f1 f2 f3 f4 so this is a finite set okay and its elements are functions a star is a binary operation which is called composition of functions i know uh, you all fam you all are familiar with how to take the composition of two functions and if you are not then don't worry i will discuss all these facts but we have to verify okay uh, we have to to verify g with respect to a star is a group or moreover an abelian group we will see all these things we will find the inverse of all these functions but i will try to ask you <laughs> means i uh, i'm interested to ask you uh, what will you do to verify this so as you have watched my uh, earlier videos and for finite set k table is the best thing so first of all you must make the k table here a rectangular or a square table does not matter and then what should you do you should draw the first horizontal line and the first vertical line and put the binary operation here which is a star okay and this as f1 this as f2 this as f3 and this as f4 this as f1 this as f2 this as f3 and this as f4 and now you have to fill all these elements here right here okay you have to fill this table so how will you fill this table so first of all you have to use the star as the composition for example, I will ask you, what will you get here? Okay, so to verify closure law, the first thing is what? Closure law. Okay, so my question is, what will be here? Yaha pe kya hoga? So what should you do? What does this mean? This means f2 star f3 okay if you will do f2 star f3 then you will get the elements that will be placed here so f2 star f3 is here so now we have to find what the composition of these two so right here so this is what f2 of f3x because composition is defined like this and now f2 is what f3x what is f3x f3x so this is 1 by x okay f3x is 1 by x so we have put here 1 by x now f2 1 by x would be what think here is the fact f2x f2x is minus x so f2 is defined as how here is x and if f2 is there then it becomes minus of this thing means here is f2x then it becomes minus x means whatever is here the final answer is negative of this so whatever is here the final would be what negative of this and therefore f2 of 1 by x is minus 1 by x 
and minus 1 by x is what? f4x. Therefore, this is what? f4. So we can write here f4. Doing the same process, you can find each and every element. Let me give one more example here. My question is, what would be here? And what will you write here? So to write the element here, you have to do what? F4 star F4. F4 star F4 of what? X. And as this is the composition, so this would be F4 of F4X. Is this all right? And your F4 of F4X is what? Minus 1 by X. So simply we will write here minus 1 by X. <laughs> okay, so be careful. How this define? Whatever is here is upon minus 1. Means you have to fix this minus 1 does not matter and divide by x. Whatever is here, you have to divide minus 1 by x. Whatever is here, if you are applying what? F4. So from here, what would you say? F4 of minus 1 by x is what? Minus 1 upon minus 1 upon x. Why have you written this? Because f4 x is defined as how? Minus 1 upon x. Here is x. So here is x. Here is f4 of minus 1 by x. So minus 1 and upon whatever is here. Alright. So this would become what? x. So finally f4 star f4 of x is x and this is what f1 all right so this is f1 here okay and f1 is the identity here because if you will do f1 star f1 then what will you get f1 star f1 of x then what does this mean f1 of f1x and f1x is x therefore this is f1x which is again x so this is what f1x so certainly the f1 is the identity this f1 is the identity all right and we have discussed uh, the element whose identity is here then uh, its leftmost box and the uppermost box contains itself so f1 is the identity here in this case and f1 is here what does this mean this means f4 is the inverse of f4 therefore f4 is self inverse In the same way now you understand how to get this element how to get this element how to get this element this 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 and this you can got you can get all the elements by using the composition of function and I have told you f1 is the identity element you can find the inverse of each and every element and one thing that I would like to say that each and every element in this group is its own inverse. Means F1 is the inverse of itself, F2 is the inverse of itself, F3 is the inverse of itself, F4 is the inverse of itself. Alright, so it is very interesting and if you will draw, uh, you will draw this line then you will see this table is symmetric about this line means whatever is here you will get this thing here okay so this if you will take if you will put a mirror here then the image of this is this and the image of this is this therefore this is an abelian group so yes 
this is going to be an abelian group okay so uh, i hope you should try yourself you should get all these elements as you have watched my previous lecture therefore i don't want to write all these elements here okay because if you will practice yourself only then it will be beneficial for you otherwise not okay so you know how to verify all the properties in Kelly table how to fill these blanks okay and then you can enjoy this example so the final conclusion is what z with a star where a star is the composition of functions is an abelian group so please verify it yourself and if you find any doubt then you may put your doubts on my email id i may email you the answers okay if you want the complete solution of this then you can email me and i will provide you the solution okay but uh, okay till then thanks a lot bye bye